It Happens Here is driven by your New England Chevy dealers. As we head back to school, students will be spending time studying in libraries. We hope so. <laughs> so this week we visited the oldest continuously operating public library in America. Brianna's back with the story. Kate and Liam, back in the 1700s, the townspeople of Franklin, Massachusetts, asked a founding father to buy them a bell for their steeple, but instead they got a library. It happens here, Franklin. This town has its own theme song. Franklin is also home to the pioneer of public education, Horace Mann. The name of the town on the original paperwork is Exeter. They crossed out the name Exeter and wrote in the name Franklin. So that is how we got our name, and we don't know who did it. And while we don't know who did it, we do know why. To impress Benjamin Franklin, who at the time had gained the French's support for the American Revolution. But they did expect Franklin to reciprocate. So he, was a, he was like a rock star. He was a rock star in France, and he was a rock star here. And they requested from Franklin a bell. They were building a new meeting house. A bell was crucially important because that's how you gathered citizens. But Ben here, he didn't think the people of Franklin needed a bell. He thought the money would be better spent on books. So he politely offered an alternative, sense being preferable to sound. He must have been really honored, and it was, you know, an excellent gift to have given us. Books and libraries were um, his religion, really. Books were everything. Oh, there you go. All right. With the help of some friends and family, Ben sent 116 volumes on government, philosophy, and religion. For a while, there was arguments over who should be allowed to use them. But eventually, the town came to an agreement. Every Franklin resident would have access to the books. We became the first public library in America. You know, circulated free to the public, no fees charged. The books moved around between schoolhouses and were even kept in a barn until 1904, when the Ray family donated the Franklin Public Library building. It just made people really aware of libraries, love libraries. Um, you know, I think we probably um, will always um, underestimate the impact of, of that donation. It's beauty and all of its histories waiting for you. Benjamin Franklin's nephew was tasked with delivering these books to the town. He famously said that the people of Franklin were poor and that they, quote, needed a bell like a toad needs a tail. <laughs> so uh, if you're wondering if they ever got that bell, Kate and Leanne, the answer is yes. They eventually did get their bell and they got the library uh, to Franklin's nephew's dismay. But did the frog get the tail? No, no, no it didn't. No. That's pretty amazing. You'd library, you think you have library is so much more important. Yeah, right. books over bells every time. I'm with Benjamin Franklin's nephew on that. Right? <laughs> Sense being preferable to sound. There yes. You go. What a cool story. <laughs> Who knew? Brianna, thank you. Appreciate it.